the focus of so many of these negative ads has been um, that you don't support pre-existing conditions. Can you um, be clear on what you support when it comes to that? I do support protecting those that have pre-existing conditions. This is very personal to me as I have a brother and a sister with juvenile diabetes, type one diabetes. My idea, and of course, a plan that I had backed in the United States Senate is one where the federal government would provide the backstop for those that do have pre-existing conditions and medically complex situations. I believe we have to strengthen uh, the Affordable Care Act, enhance it. We need to build in a public option to create some competition. We need to make sure Medicare is negotiating to bring down those uh, costs. And when it comes to the case before the Supreme Court right now, you know, on my very first day in this general election, I called on Senator Ernst to oppose that lawsuit. We absolutely cannot make healthcare um, more affordable and accessible for everybody and contain the cost until we get rid of this employer-sponsored health insurance racket. We can have, we have to completely disassociate private health insurance from employment. Until we make um, access to health care more like your car or your homeowner's insurance, we really can't fix this system and give everybody fair and free access. Where do you stand on um, what needs to be done to improve access to affordable health care? Well, there's really uh, only one actual solution, and that is to eliminate every government rule and regulation that we currently have uh, and start from scratch um, in order to actually make it possible for every American health have health care. Uh, I'm going to have the premium for an individual policy subtracted from my universal basic income. The universal uh, basic income gives enough money to every American so that they can uh, afford a, a policy. The U.S. Supreme Court will hear arguments on two cases challenging the Affordable Care Act just a week after election.